Hey kids, welcome back to Creativity with Mr. B. Every time we're together, I'll show you a skill, then you'll practice that skill and create on your own. I'm excited about what we can create together. Animated GIFs are pretty common these days. We see them in internet memes on our phones, we see them in social media, and we even see them in our text messages. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make your very own animated GIFs in Keynote. Today, we'll use shape, line, and color to make our animated GIFs in Keynote. Be on the lookout for those elements. For today's project, all you'll need is your iPad with the Keynote app and a drawing that you'd like to animate. If you need to pause the video and find a drawing or draw one in Keynote, do that now. A few notes about animating in Keynote. Okay, so these are my three objects that I'll be animating in this video. Uh, there's the Listen to Your Art, the Wolverine, and the Cartoon Mr. B Head. On all three, if you tap to select them, on the far right, you'll see the option to hit Animate. Once you tap that animate, a blue bar will pop up at the top of the screen and it'll start to give you options at the bottom. There are kind of three types of animation in Keynote. There's the build in, which is how something appears. For now, for that listen to your art object, I'm going to use Anvil. It makes the object drop down and appear heavy, like dust kind of flies out. For Wolverine, I'm going to pick an action. An action is what happens while the object is on the slide. So for Wolverine, I could make him bounce or grow or jiggle. I'm going to use pulse. Pulse is kind of like this. Uh, it grows a little bit and goes back to its normal size. And thirdly, I'm going to use a build out for the cartoon Mr. B head. A build out is how an object exits the slide, how it disappears. In this case, I'm going to use crumble. Crumble makes the object do just that. It crumbles away as it exits the slide. So uh, that is build in, action, and build out. Three simple animations. Now that I've shown you those preset animations in Keynote, the bad news is we're actually not going to use those today. We'll come back to those again later in another video. Today, we're going to use the slides in Keynote like frames and animation to make simple changes to make some animated GIFs that we kind of animate by hand. The first thing that you want to do is to open up the Keynote app. Next, tap the plus symbol to create a new presentation or project. You'll get a prompt to choose a theme, then just select one of the basic themes, black or white. Now you're going to see some text boxes on the slide. Just tap and delete those because we won't need them. Now you'll tap the plus symbol to import photo or video. This is where you'll go through and select the drawing or clip art that you want to animate. Tap the background of the slide, then tap the paintbrush to get to your format tab. Change the background of your slide to no fill. Next, you're gonna to tap to select your slide on the left. You're gonna tap and see those options pop up and hit duplicate. Do this several times. This will give us slides to use as frames to animate. Tap the plus symbol and then select drawing. If you're using an Apple Pencil and it's synced to your iPad, the drawing tools will pop up automatically when the pencil gets near the iPad. So now I'm going to use the drawing tools to make small changes to suggest movement or animation with my drawings. In my case, I rotated the sunburst lines around my words. So I made a copy um, of the drawing with no words in the middle and rotated that around the words. By the way, that rotating gesture happens when you tap with two fingers and then twist your fingers around the screen. Again, small changes suggest movement or animation. I changed Wolverine's mouth and eyes and added claws in a word balloon. And for the cartoon Mr. B, I changed his eyes and smile to make it seem like his eyes were twinkling and he was smiling really big. So again, using the drawing tools to make small changes to a simple drawing can suggest that there's animation or movement happening. Now for the last series of steps, we need to export our animation. First, you're gonna tap the three dots or the ellipses, then tap export. Next, choose animated GIF. This is gonna bring up a lot of options. For size, you want extra large. 
For slide range, you want all of your slides, in my case, slides one through four. For the frame rate, usually 24 frames per second is standard. You can go even higher. Auto advance can be anything from one second to one eighth of a second. And you'll want to make sure that transparent backgrounds is switched on. It'll be green. After you tap export again, you just tap share, then save image, and you're all done. You did it. I hope you had fun making your very own animated GIFs in Keynote. Be sure to share what you've made with your teachers, family, and friends. And I'll see you back here on Creativity with Mr. B.